Well, hello everyone. A pleasant good evening to you here on yourliveevent.com. As back to regular season play, here the regular season finale for both teams here competing tonight. It is the Hillsboro Central Valley Bros going up against the Spartans of Finley, Sharon Hope Page. Senior night for the Spartans as well. Glad you could join us here on yourliveevent.com. I reinsurance pregame show an abbreviated version of this as Hillsboro Central Valley 18 and 4 on the season. We've already locked up the number uh, two spot. If they are able to pick up the victory, they will be the second seed in the region tournament. Finley Sharon Hope Page uh, currently at the bottom 13th place. A victory could potentially put them up into the 12th position. IRE Insurance, visit them online, IRIEINS.com. We'll take a quick pause for our national anthem. Then we will have our American Crystal Sugar Company starting lineups. Hi, I'm Ernie Struby, president of the Goose River Bank. We are the oldest state bank in North Dakota. Our past is important, but only if we continue to learn from it. We have learned in over 130 years of serving the Red River Valley that we need to listen to your needs, that we need to provide you with the proper financial tools. Most importantly, we know that you have the option to bank anywhere, and many of you have chosen to bank with us. We take this responsibility seriously, and it has been an honor to be your bank. At the Goose River Bank, we believe that a strong bank builds strong communities. The Goose River Bank, member FDIC. The Hillsborough Central Valley Booster Club is made up of parents and fans who work together to build team and community spirit. They believe it takes parents, as well as community support and commitment for team success, both on and off the field or court. You can be a member of the Hillsborough Central Valley Booster Club. Contact Carissa Olson or Dave Knutsvig for more information. There's a lot to love about Hillsborough, North Dakota. Top-notch school district with fantastic facilities and growing enrollment great health care, and friendly people. Nestled between two of North Dakota's largest cities, Hillsboro embodies a small-town atmosphere that is sure to make you feel right at home. The HEDC and City of Hillsboro invites you to pay a visit and experience Hillsboro. Visit hillsboro-nd.com to learn more about Hillsboro, a small town with big opportunity. Insurance, Terry Reed and Julie Larson serving you with homeowners, farm, auto, multi peril prop hail, your insurance source. Reed Insurance, located in the Wright Implement Building in Hillsboro. Call 701-636-5471. Visit with Terry Reed and Julie Larson for the coverage you need. Professional, knowledgeable experience. Reed Insurance. Hi, this is Isaac Utley, a student athlete at Hillsborough High School. I urge everyone to show good sportsmanship both on and off the field or court. Show respect for the other players, coaches, referees, and fans too. By doing so, it shows class and respect for the game. Thank you, and once again, I encourage us to all show good sportsmanship. This message is brought to you by the Hillsborough School District. Time now for our starting lineups here for both teams. A senior guard, number three, Carson Hennings guard as well as another senior guard, number 11, Oscar Benson. A senior forward, number 40, Landon Reed. As well as a senior guard, number one, Patrick Limke. And a senior forward, 55, Joey Camrude. Starting laps for Hillsboro Central Valley. And it's time now for your starting laps for the home team, the... Billy Sharon Hope Page Spartans. A senior, a junior guard, six feet tall, number three, Owen Zerfus. Another or junior guard, five foot eleven, number four, Dalton Stein. Senior forward, six feet tall, number ten, Tate Zerfus. A senior center, six feet two, number twenty-one, Joel Ostmo. And a freshman forward, six foot four, number twenty-three, Landon Koenig. Starting laps for the Philly Sharon Hope Page Spartans as well. First, those brought to you by American Crystal Sugar Company. And glad you could join us here on yourliveevent.com. Keith Meyer here with us as well. I'm Brady Siebels. We appreciate you joining us here for our season finale, regular season finale, Hillsboro Center Valley and Finley Sharon Hope Page senior night for the Spartans.
Benson will tip it off for the Burrows, as well as Koenig for the Spartans. And the tip is controlled by Hillsborough Center Valley. Limke top of the key over to Landon Reed. Benson right wing. Hennings guard, he'll drive inside. Inside to Limke, layup wouldn't go. And the rebound taken by Owen Zerfus. Up ahead quickly the other way, Koenig. He'll put up the three, no. And the rebound is taken by Carson Hennings guard. Try to get it up ahead to Reed and unable to save it. Out of bounds it goes. Turnover by Hillsborough Central Valley. It will be Spartan basketball. As Tate Zerfus will inbound. Long pass up ahead to Stein and he is fouled. Hennings guard on the foul. That'll be his first, team's first. 31 seconds into this matchup. No score. Inbound, Stein. Zerfus, top of the key. Koenig, right wing. Inside, Osmo. Back out, they work it around to Zerfus. Cross court, three ball on its way, no. And the rebound by Patrick Limke. To Benson, drives inside, back out. Hennings guard fakes the three, he'll drive. Benson, top of the key, over to Reed. Reed will put up the three, no. Rebound fought for, still loose. Limke tries to save it, pass stolen away by Koenig. Koenig back inside, layup gets it to go. Landon Koenig with the first points of the game. Spartans lead 2-0. Hennings guard drives inside, layup gets it to go. Hennings guard evens the score at two. Owen Zerfus across the timeline. Stein back to Owen Zerfus. Drives inside, now will stop, put up the jumper, no, and Landon Reed the rebound. Benson, long two-pointer, gets it to go. Oscar Benson, his first bucket. Hillsborough Central Valley takes their first lead at four to two. Owen Zerfus loses the handle and the pass is stolen away. Cam Rude gets it to Henningsgaard and Henningsgaard is fouled on the drive. As Tate Zerfus on the foul, that'll be his first, team's first. Hennensgaard inbound, Cam Rude, Limke. Top of the key, Landon Reed. Over to Hennensgaard, he'll put up the three. Got it! Carson Hennensgaard with the triple. Seven to two in favor of the Burrows. Inbounds, Owen Zerfus. Tried to get it to Tate Zerfus, but it's pass out of bounds. And it will be Burrow basketball. Limke inbounds, Hennings guard. Benson, Reed, he'll put up the three. Got it. Landon Reed with the triple. Spartans try to get it up court. Owen Zerfus. Osmo across the timeline to Tate Zerfus and will get a foul as Hennings guard. That'll be his second. Burroughs playing some uh, trapping defense. I think the Spartans want to keep this game slowed down a little bit. Burroughs with that trapping defense, they aren't going to allow that. Owen Zerfus. Stein. Inside Osmo, back out to Stein. Cross court, Owen Zerfus. 20 to shoot. Tate Zerfus. Stops, puts it up short, and the rebound taken. By Joey Camroot. Up ahead, Landon Reed. He'll fire up the three. No. And Owen Zerfus, the rebound on the break. Puts up the layup. No. And Reed with the rebound. Hennings guard going the other way. Inside, Reed. Layup. No. Rebound fought for. Still loose. Landon Reed ends up with it. Benson inside to Camroot. Stops. Puts it up off the glass. And. 
Cameron with the first bucket, a 12-0 Burrow run. And a steal, and we'll get a foul called on the Spartans. Cade Zerfus on the foul, that'll be his second, team second. As Cade Zerfus will check out, 12, Zyler Carlson will check in for Finley Sharon Hope Page. Hennings guard, drives inside, floater no, but he's fouled. And Carson Hennings guard to go to the free throw line. As they'll get Dalton Stein on the foul, that's his first, team's third. First free throw attempt short off the front of the iron. Second free throw attempt upcoming. Shot attempt up, no good as well. But Limke, the offensive rebound, put back is good. As a timeout called on the floor by Finley Sharon Hope Page. We'll take a timeout as well. Golden Harvest Tim because at Seed Sales Scoreboard, Hillsborough Central Valley 14. Finley Sharon Hope Page 2. Hi. I'm Ernie Struby, president of the Goose River Bank, and I would like to know your story. Our lives and our businesses are comprised of events. We have all had our failures and successes, and these events define our character. If your character includes values like trustworthy, respectful, honest, and responsible, then your story matches well with ours, and we would consider it a privilege to be your financial partner. At the Goose River Bank, we believe that a strong bank builds strong communities. The Goose River Bank, member FDIC. This is Chris from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting dealer. Many factors impact your ability to increase profits on the farm. Make sure your planter is an asset and not a liability. Some limiting factors in making the perfect planter pass are roll maintenance, meter calibration, and downforce management. It will not cost you anything to have the conversation about identifying those limiting factors. Call RDK Enterprises 701-636-2119 or planterdoc.com. 14-2 in favor of Hillsborough Central Valley. Out of the timeout. Carlson brings it up court. Picks up his dribble. Able to find Stein. Back to Carlson. Stein left wing. Work it inside Koenig. And stolen away by Landon Reed. Reed on the drive. Trying to go coast to coast. Gets the layup to go. Landon Reed with five. 16 to do in favor of Hillsborough Central Valley. Owen Zerfus. Stein. 20 to shoot. Back to Owen Zerfus for three. No. And the rebound taken by Camrude. Pass inside. Lemke gets it to go. Patrick Lemke with his second bucket. Stein picks up his dribble. Gets it to Koning, Owen Zerfus, back to Stein. 20 to eight. Zerfus, side Osmo, able to get it back. Carlson, five to shoot, Stein. Pass tipped away, stolen by Benson. Benson with the dunk. Benson with the steal, going the other way. 20 straight Burrow points. Carlson, Koenig, back out Zerfus. He'll put up the three, no. And Cameron with the rebound. And we'll get a foul called. As they'll get Zyler Carlson, that'll be his first. Team's fourth. And Sam Preston, as well as Jackson Anderson, checking in for the Burrows. Reed. It's a screen from Lemke. Back to Preston. Inside Lemke. Turns, puts it up, gets it to go. Patrick Lemke with six. Stein up court, cross the timeline. Elbow gets it to Zerfus. 
Back to Stein, 20 to shoot. Hands it off Zerfus. Guarded by Hennings guard. Koenig with the screen. Zerfus drives baseline, stops, puts it up. No, and the rebound taken by Landon Reed. His fourth board. Hennings guard. Tried to get it in the corner to Preston, just out of his reach and out of bounds. And Hillsborough Central Valley with their second turnover. As Carlson will check out. 22, Ryan Tweet will check in for the first time for Finley Sharon Hope Page. Sign across the timeline. Try to get it to Tweet and we'll get a Excuse me, Anderson able to knock the pass away down the uh, far baseline. Will be Spartan basketball. Inbounds, Owen Zerfus. 20 to shoot. Koenig, back to Zerfus. Green from Koenig, Zerfus fires up the three, no. And Sam Preston, the rebound. Hennings guard, he'll launch it from three, no. Preston, the rebound, put back, no. Limke. And he's fouled. And Patrick Limke to go to the free throw line. As they'll get Owen Zerfus on the foul, it'll be his first, team's fifth. Limke, first free throw attempt, up and good. Hard to imagine that the Spartans actually had a lead in the game, two to nothing. 23 straight points by the Burroughs. Lemke, second free throw attempt, up and good. He got them both, he's now got eight. He'll check out, Oscar Benson will check in for the Burrows. 46 seconds remains in the first quarter. Stein to Zerfus, across the timeline. Kick out Koenig for three, no. And the rebound taken by Landon Reed. That's his fifth, Hennings guard. Over, Anderson, he'll put up the three. No. And the rebound taken by Koenig. Zerfus across the timeline, shot clock turned off. Screen by Koenig. Pick and roll inside, Koenig. Couldn't get it to go, gets his own rebound. Back out, Stein, five to shoot. Three pointer up, no. By Tweed, and the rebound by Preston. And that will do it for quarter number one. Golden Harvest Tim Kazette Seed Sales Scoreboard. Hillsborough Central Valley 24. Finley Sharon Hope Page 2. Trail District Health Unit warns that flu numbers are increasing across the state and to take all necessary precautions to keep you and your family healthy this winter. Get a flu shot. Always remember to wash your hands and exercise are all great ways to reduce the chances of you and those around you from getting sick. You don't want your student or athlete to miss school or activities because of the flu. This message is brought to you by Trail District Health Unit. For more information, give them a call at 701-636-4434. Wishing you a healthy season are Brenda, Kelly, and Chris at Trail District Health Unit. Time for quarter number two. Golden Harvest Tim Kazet Seed Sales Scoreboard. Hillsborough Central Valley leads 24 to two. Finley Sharon Hope Page actually got the opening basket of the game. From there, 24 straight points for Hillsborough Central Valley. As we'll have an over and back violation called on Finley Sharon Hope Page. Borough basketball. Reed will inbound. Endings guard. Across the timeline, Anderson, top of the key. Benson, he'll put up the three, no, and out of bounds. Spartan basketball. Inbound, Owen Zerfus. 
Gets it across the timeline. Started by Reed. Hand off Tweet. Tate Zerfus in the corner. 20 to shoot. Drives inside, spins, picks up his dribble. Back out, Tweet. Owen Zerfus drives inside, puts it up. No, but he's fouled. And Owen Zerfus to go to the free throw line as they'll get Landon Reed on the foul. Girls just want to make sure with this big lead now that they don't get sloppy. They don't want any uh, bad habits coming in. They need to keep playing with intensity, playing their game. Um, just keeping, keeping with what they do best. Reed will check out, but coming back in for the Burroughs number one, Patrick Limke. Zerfus, second free throw attempt. Up and good, Owen Zerfus got them both. Benson couldn't get the shot to go. Rebound Ostmo. Tate Zerfus the other way, cross half court. Started by Henningsgaard. Inside Tweet, couldn't get the shot to go. Jackson Anderson the rebound. Inside Limke gets the layup to go. And we'll get a timeout call by the Spartans. Golden Harvest, Tim Kazat Seed Sales Scoreboard. Hillsborough Central Valley leads 26 to 4. Halston Telephone knows we all like choices. You can choose to have communication and data services up to one gigabit over a reliable state-of-the-art fiber optic network. And you can choose to have the same great services available town or country with local service and support. You can choose to have an individual service or bundle. You can choose to avoid tricky promotional pricing. You can choose unlimited data. The choice seems clear. Choose Halston Telephone Broadband Voice TV. 1-800-457-2125. Out of the timeout, Spartan basketball inbound along the baseline. Tate Zerfus to inbound, Owen Zerfus. Across the timeline. Drives inside, handoff tweet, blocked by Limke, out of bounds. Barn basketball with 25 to shoot. Owen Zerfus will inbound. Koenig loses the handle of it. Last tipped out of bounds by the Burrows. Still Spartan basketball. Inbounds Koenig. Pass stolen away. Carson Enningsgaard with the steal on the drive. Layup good. Owen Zerfus. Drives inside. Osmo with the basket, his first bucket. Hennings guard. Spins, layup, good, and the foul. Hennings guard to the line to try to complete the three point play. As they'll get Zerfus on the foul. That'll be his second, team's sixth. As Lennon Koenig will check out back in four, Dalton Stein. Also a couple of Burrow substitutions. Benson Anderson to check out. Joey Cameron and Landon Reed back in for the Burrows. Henningsgaard. Free throw attempt up and good. Henningsgaard with the old-fashioned three-point play. 31-6 in favor of the Burrows. Owen Zerfus over to Stein. He'll put up the three. No, rebound tip taken by Sam Preston. Tried to get it up ahead to Limke, a little bit out of his reach and out of bounds. Spartan basketball. Inbounds, Owen Zerfus. Guarded by Reed. Cross half court. Top of the key, Stein. Inside Tweet, layup no, but he's fouled. And Ryan Tweet will go to the free throw line. Nice simple uh, cut off of the high post there for Tweet. Made a good hard cut and that's what got him, so, got him open. Couldn't quite get the layup. Sam Preston on the foul, that's his first. 
team's fourth. First free throw attempt up and good. Second one upcoming. Good as well. Tweet got them both. Headings guard over to Preston. Limke inside. Layup rolls around. Gets it to go. Patrick Limke with a dozen already. Owen Zerfus gets a screen. Back to Tweet. Tate Zerfus. Inside has it stripped, stolen away by Limke. Up ahead, Landon Reed. Layup good. Landon Reed, he's got seven. Owen Zerfus to Stein. Cross court, Tate Zerfus. Try to get it inside Osmo, but it's stolen away by the Burrows. Turnover nine. Hennings guard for three. Good. Hennings guard his second triple. 38 to eight in favor of the Burrows. Owen Zerfus across the timeline. It's a screen. Drives inside, and he's fouled on the shot attempt. As Patrick Limke on the foul. That'll be his first. Team's fifth. I think Limke was trying to swat that ball through the brick wall at the end of the court there. That's just kind of kind of a silly thing to try to do. And that's what I was talking about, bad habits uh, creeping into this game. All he had to do was elevate, get his hand straight up. He would have tipped the ball out of bounds or maybe even tipped it to a teammate. Lenny Koenig will check back in for Finley Sharon Hopage. Let's check in for the first time tonight. Number five, Gannon Limke for the Burrows. Second free throw attempt up and good. As Owen Zerfus split the pair. Headings guard, Landon Reed. Back to Reed. Picks up his dribble. Trigger it inside to Limke. Batted around and stolen away by Tweet. Stein, and he traveled. Turnover 10 on the Spartans. Final four minutes of the opening half. Patrick Limke, Preston, inside Gannon Limke, shot good. Gannon Limke with his first points tonight. Owen Zerfus across the timeline. Tried to get it inside. Out of bounds and another Spartan turnover, number 11. Up ahead, Landon Reed, Hennings guard. Back to Reed, drives inside. Preston mid-range jumper, no good. And we'll get a foul called on the rebound attempt as Landon Reed will get called for his second foul, sixth on the Burrows. Inbounds, Owen Zerfus. Brings it across the half court line. Stein, tweet from the elbow, he'll put it up. No, and Patrick Limke the rebound. Henning's guard, and he's fouled on the drive before the shot attempt. He is so good at uh, crowding the defender as he's dribbling up the court. He, he initiates the contact, and uh, unless the defender's in a really good guarding position, the defender picks up the foul. Seventh team foul, so one and one. First free throw attempt is no good. Rebound by Tate Zerfus. Drives inside. Koenig back out, Owen Zerfus. 20 to shoot. Inside Tate Zerfus. Hook shot gets it to go. Tate Zerfus, his first points. Headings guard. Reed. Gannon Lemke, he'll fire up the three. No. Rebound. Landon Reed. Over to Henningsgard. Fake the three, gets it. Gannon Lemke. 
Inside Patrick Lemke, back out Hennings guard for three. No. Read the rebound, put back is good. Reed with the basket, he's got nine. As well as now seven rebounds. Owen Zerfus puts it up from the elbow. No, and the rebound by Sam Preston. That's his fifth board. Hennings guard for three. Yes. And we get a timeout called by Hillsborough Central Valley. 155 remaining in the first half. Hillsborough Central Valley leads. 45-11 on yourliveevent.com. Golden Harvest Tim Kazette Seed Sales Scoreboard. My name is Chase Fossum from Hillsborough High School. Drugs and alcohol not only affect your life, but everyone around as well. That is why I choose not to engage in drugs and alcohol. It results in poor decision making and even death. Don't let friends, family, and teammates down. Be safe and stay sober. Thank you. This message brought to you by the Hillsborough High School District. Back here on yourliveevent.com. Hillsborough Central Valley leads 45 to 11, just under two minutes remaining in the first half. Season finale for both teams. Hillsborough Central Valley already guaranteed a uh, spot in the quarterfinals of the Region 2 tournament. We'll have to get into the play in game. A win will secure the number two seed for the Burroughs. Stein, in the corner, Owen Zerfus. Dipped and stolen away. Micah Gallagher checked in out of the timeout. As well as Ezra Longthorne on the break gets the bucket to go. Sign. Tate Zerfus drives, kick out, corner three, Koenig. Yes! Landon Koenig with the triple. Also, Jackson Anderson checks back in as well. Anderson with it, top of the key. Long two-pointer. No, off the back iron. And the rebound by Owen Zerfus. Up ahead, Tate Zerfus. Layup, gets it to go. Anderson across the half-court line. Limke, Longthorn. Pass is tipped, stolen away. Owen Zerfus with the steal. The other way, layup attempt is good. Anderson, three second difference between the shot and game clock. Longthorne, Gallagher, back to Longthorne. Anderson, Preston, top of the key. Kick out, Gannon Lemke for three, no. And the rebound taken by Tate Zerfus. Up ahead, tried to get it to Tweet and out of bounds. Final 10 seconds of the half. Inbounds, Jackson Anderson across the timeline. Drives inside, blocked, gets his own rebound, put back, wouldn't go. Gannon Lemke tries to beat the buzzer, could not get that one to go as well, and that will do it for half number one. Golden Harvest Tim Kazette Seed Sales Scoreboard. Hillsborough Central Valley leads 47 to 18 on yourliveevent.com. Halftime report coming up next. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 43,000 participants here in North Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Find feel-good savings at your locally owned Health Mart Drugstore, Hillsboro Drug and Give. Health Mart CoQ10 Dietary Supplement 30-Count Soft Gels is just $6.99. You can get your choice of Health Mart flaxseed oil or fish oil, just $9.49 each. 120-Count Health Mart Low-Dose Aspirin 81MG, $4.99. Or 36-Count Health Mart Adult Low-Dose Chewable Aspirin, just $1.99. Keep up with the cold and flu season by making a stop at Hillsboro Drug and Gift, your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart caring for you and about you. 
This is Carson Henningsgaard, student athlete at Ed Central Valley High School, and I urge students to refrain from using drugs or alcohol. Doing so can result in getting kicked off the team, damage to your reputation, and damage to your body. Stay sober and stay on the right track to success. Live above the influence. This message brought to you by the Central Valley School District. Don't forget to subscribe to your live event by clicking on the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner on YouTube and click the notification bell so you'll be notified about every new video. Thanks for watching and listening to YourLiveEvent.com, powered by Halsa Telephone Company and RJ Broadcasting Incorporated. For more high school sports and information, visit RJBroadcasting.com sports scores and schedules page. Back here on YourLiveEvent.com as we have reached halftime. Golden Harvest Tim Kazette Seed Sales Scoreboard. Hillsborough Central Valley leads 47 to 18. As Finley Sharon Hopage scored the uh, first basket of the game, taking a 2 0 lead. From there, Hillsborough Central Valley scored the next 24 points in a quarter number one to take a 24 to 2 lead after one quarter of play. Second quarter, similar story. Hillsborough Central Valley. Outscoring Finley Sharon Hope Page 23 to 16. A late Spartan run in the final two minutes of the half. Hillsborough Central Valley getting a, uh, some of their uh, backups as well, some uh, playing time in the uh, early parts of the game. As I made a little uh, closer here, score wise, but at the half it is 47 to 18 in favor of Hillsborough Central Valley. Season finale for both teams. If they win, Hillsborough Central Valley will lock up the number two seed in the region tournament. They've already guaranteed themselves a spot in the quarterfinals. Will not have to play in the uh, region playing game on Tuesday. Again, we will uh, we'll have a couple of games for you on Tuesday night on yourliveevent.com. The region two play in games do not know yet uh what games we will have but uh the uh pairings and then the uh, cds region tournament uh pairings they come out on uh saturday morning so we'll uh work on that for you we will then uh decide here we'll get in a couple of games we will have for you on your live event.com so stay tuned with our uh, social media pages your live event one on twitter see what games we, we will be covering tuesday night and then when we get to the Betty Ingolstadt Sioux Center, we will have all eight games of the Region 2 Boys Basketball Tournament as well coming up on YourLiveEvent.com. Take another quick break here, then we will have our first half stats. That's coming up next on YourLiveEvent.com. People depend on a healthy food supply always being there. We take great pride in what we've built here, and we want to pass that on. Running a family farm is an easy we can't control the weather, ever-changing farm policies, and up and down farm prices, but we managed to keep going to provide the safest food supply we can. To be a farmer, you have to be committed, and it isn't so much a choice as it is a calling. Farmers Union Insurance, protecting those that protect America's food source. Rural life isn't for everyone, but those who know it and love it wouldn't have it any other way. As a farmer-owned cooperative, Ag Country Farm Credit Services supports rural communities in agriculture with reliable, consistent credit financial services, which helps farmers produce more affordable food and encourages long-term investments in rural communities. Ag Country Farm Credit Services, proud to support the communities where we live and work. both grew up in Hatton. We lived in Grand Forks and Fargo both before settling down here. I'm originally from Hillsboro, grew up here. I'm originally from Laramore. We lived in Bismarck for 10 years, but something was drawing me back here. For a small town, I think we have a lot to offer. Hillsboro, Trail County is a great place to grow a business. It's a small community that's like a family. If you need help, um, the small community pulls together. Come home to trail. Come home to trail. Come on the trail. Time now to run down our first half stats here for both teams. We'll start with the first half stats. 
for Finley Sharon Hope Page. Led in scoring, co uh, scoring leaders number three, Owen Zerfis, as well as 23, Landing Koenig, both of them with five points. Kate Zerfis has four points and two points apiece for Joel Osmo, as well as Ryan Tweet. Team total wise, the uh, Spartans committed a total of 10 team turnovers, nine team rebounds. They committed 17 fouls, and from the free throw line, they are shooting five of six. First half stats for Hillsborough Central Valley. They're let in scoring by number three, Carson Henningsgaard. He's got 14 points. Patrick Limke added in 12 points. Nine points for Landon Reed. Four points for Oscar Benson and two points apiece for Gannon Limke, Ezra Longthorne, as well as Joey Camrud. Team total wise, the Bros committed a total of uh, six team turnovers. As well on the uh, rebounding side. 19 team rebounds. They committed a total of six team fouls. And from the free throw line, the Burrows are shooting three of six. Those are your first half stats on yourliveevent.com. We'll take another quick break. And we'll be back for the start of quarter number three. That's coming up next on yourliveevent.com. It takes takes a lot of grit to be a farmer. The workday isn't defined by the number of hours you work, but by the work you do in those hours. And the job isn't done unless it pays off when the combines roll. So when the work gets tough and the work days get long, count on Golden Harvest to deliver strong genetics, local know-how, and a dedication to service. Contact Tim Kazette, your local seed advisor, at 701-430-0877 and start seeing your hard work pay off. Bloomfield Enterprises has your next utility and landscaping trailer. Whether you need to haul your toys or you need to haul your new tractor, Big Tech's utility trailers are designed to accommodate a wide variety of cargo, including golf carts, ATVs, lawnmowers, or whatever else you may need to haul with different models and features available to fit your needs. Call Ben and Tim at 701-430-0877 and get your new trailer from Bloomfield Enterprises in Hillsborough. When it comes to insurance, you should be confident that you're choosing the best option. I'm Rich Gerke of Farmers Union Insurance Hillsboro. Let's find and discuss the best insurance policy for your home, auto, farm, life, or business. Stop in to see Ryan Updahl or I at our Hillsboro office or give us a call at 701-436-5777 or toll free at 1-800-498-5777. This is Rich Gerke of Farmers Union Insurance and we look forward to doing business with you. Farmers, as you're wondering what seed to buy for your farm, Nedham Seeds is featuring Pioneer Corn, Soybean, and Sunflower Seed. Call Rocky at 701-430-1149. With proven yields from Pioneer Varieties, talk to Rocky Nedham for corn and soybean seed in addition to their certified wheat and barley seed. Also, ask about seed treating and delivery. Call Rocky at Nedham Seeds in Caledonia, 701-430-1149. Back here on YourLiveEvent.com, we'll bring back in Keith Meyer here, our coach's perspective, and uh, Keith Hillsborough Central Valley got getting the long layoff for uh, playing down to the opponent. They came here to uh, play tonight, get themselves ready for the region tournament. Yep, they need to, uh, like I said before, they need to keep the intensity up, get a good workout in now, um, work on their game, work on things that, that, that will profit them in the regional when it comes about. Offensive rebound. Yeah, or uh, Patrick Limke, but it's stolen away by the Spartans. Turnover number seven on the Burrows. Layup attempt, no, and the foul on the rebound. As they'll get Joey Cameron on the foul, that'll be his first team's first. Owen Zerfus will inbound. And we'll get a five second call. First turnover on the Spartans this half. Hennings guard to Reed. Back to Hennings guard. Drives inside. Layup good. Hennings guard picking up where he left off. And half number one. 
Jade Zerfus. Koenig. Back to Stein. Inside. Koenig and out of bounds along the baseline. It will remain Finley Sharon Hope Page basketball. Owen Zerfus will inbound. Trying to get it in, and the pass is stolen away by Carson Hennings guard. Coast to coast, layup attempt up and good for Carson Hennings guard. 51 to 18 in favor of the Burroughs. Tate Zerfus across the timeline. Koenig, Owen Zerfus inside. Shot is blocked by Camrood. Hennings guard the other way as we'll get a foul call as they tried that alley-oop with Benson. And they'll get Benson on the foul. As Benson, that's his first, team's second. In Mount Stein, across the timeline, guarded by Benson. Ostmo, Koenig, Stein, right wing, dribbles out, hands it off, Tate Zerfus at the free throw line, over to Koenig, six to shoot, Tate Zerfus, he'll fire up the three, no, and the rebound taken by Carson Hendensgaard. Hennings guard running up court. Over to Limke. Patrick Limke gets the three ball to go. Patrick Limke now with 15. When Limke gets time like that to shoot and he squares up, his percentage goes way, way up. Stein. Pass. Lobbed up and stolen away by Carson Hennings guard, and then he is fouled. As they'll get White 12, uh, Zyler Carlson on the foul. That'll be his second, team's first. Hennings guard to Benson. Over to Reed. Back to Benson. Reed once again. Inside Camrude. Back out Reed. Over to Hennings guard for three. Yes. Hennings guard with the triple. That's his fourth three-pointer tonight. Back out to Stein. Hands it off. Tate Zerfus spins, puts it up, couldn't get it to go, but he's fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. As they'll get Cameron on the foul, that'll be his second, team's a third. So Tate Zerfus at the free throw line. First free throw attempt, up and good. And Stein will check out three Owen Zerfus back in for the Spartans. Second free throw attempt, up and good as well. Tate Zerfus got the pair. He now has six to lead all Spartans in scoring. Reed, back out to Cameron, inside to Limke, and he's fouled on the ground. As they'll get Landon Koenig on the foul, his first, team's second. As Carlson will check out, 22, Ryan Tweet back in. Benson from the free throw line hits the jumper. That's his shot, that 15-footer. Then he, he's, he's very good at that shot. 59-20 in favor of the Burroughs. Koenig, Owen Zerfus. The screen from Koenig. Pick and roll inside. Koenig gets the shot to go. Hennings guard the other way for the Burroughs. Over to Limke. He'll drive inside, puts the floater up. Couldn't get to go. Cameron the rebound. 
and he's fouled on the putback. Joey Cameron to go to the free throw line. As they'll get Ryan Tweed on the foul, his first, team's third. Joey's such a hard worker down there underneath, uh, always getting position or working towards it. Gets so many uh, nasty things done down there that really benefit the team. Oscar Benson will check out. Jackson Anderson back in. Cam Root, second free throw attempt up and good. He got them both. He'll check out. And Sam Preston will check in for the Burroughs. Owen Zerfus drives inside. Layup attempt, no. Offensive rebound put back. Good by Joel Ostmo. Hennings guard, Anderson, wide open. He'll put up the three short. Limke with the rebound, back out to Hennings guard. Couldn't get the shot to go. All still loose. Rolls out of bounds. Burroughs getting a little out of control here. Timeout call by Finley, Sharon Hopage. A quick 30. We'll take a quick 30 as well. Golden Harvest, Tim Kazette, Seed Sales Scoreboard. Hillsborough Central Valley lead 61-24. Goose River Heating and Cooling of Hillsboro is a rude dealer for the Hillsboro and surrounding communities. If your furnace has lived past its prime, talk to Corey today about a new rude furnace for your home or new construction. You don't want to be left out in the cold. That's why Goose River Heating is available with 24-hour emergency service. Call Corey right today at Goose River Heating, 701-430-1990. Serving Hillsboro and the surrounding communities as a rude dealer, Goose River Heating and Cooling. Spartan basketball out of the timeout. Inbounds, Owen Zerfus. He'll bring it up court. Cross the timeline. Guarded by Anderson. Ostmo. Back to Owen Zerfus. He'll fire up the three. No. And Landon Reed, the rebound. Hennings guard. Drives inside. Limke. Lost today. We'll get it. Track it down is Carson Hennings guard. Over to Preston, back inside Limke. Turn around, puts it up, no. And he's called for the foul on the rebound attempt. Yeah, he put his hand on the shoulder of the Spartan down there and tried to elevate himself that way, and that's, uh, that's a no-no. Sweet, we'll check out back in for Dalton Stein for the Spartans. Zerfus. Over to Stein. Back to Owen Zerfus. Back to Stein, top of the key. Koenig, free throw line. Tate Zerfus, he'll launch up the three, no. Koenig the rebound, and he's fouled on the putback attempt. Landon Koenig to go to the free throw line. He'll shoot a pair. As they got Limke on the foul, his third, team's fifth. What you're seeing out of the Burroughs right now is what I was talking about at halftime. Right now, they're playing a little bit sloppy defense. They're allowing uh, the Spartans to get open shots, and they're allowing them to get second and third shots. They're not boxing out. Uh, they're trying to swat everything into the bleachers, and they got to get back to basics. Coding no good on both attempts. Sam Preston the rebound. As a pass, just too high for Landon Reed. Out of bounds it goes. Turnover by the Burroughs. Inbound Stein. Cross the timeline. It's a screen from Koenig. Pick and roll inside. Now back out. Tate Zerfus for three. No. And the rebound taken by Patrick Limke. Hennings guard to Anderson. Couldn't get the shot to go. Rebound still loose and tracked down and corralled by Owen Zerfus. Stein along the baseline, has it stripped and stolen away by Carson Henningsgaard. Try to get up ahead to Reed. Out of bounds, last touched by Finley, Sharon, Hope, Page. I was going to break here as uh, Patrick Limke just has to retie his shoes. Henningsgaard inbound. Preston, Limke back out to Reed. Henningsgaard. Reed once again, he'll launch up the three. No, and the rebound taken 
by Tate Zerfus. Koenig, inside Ostmo, couldn't get it to go, and Sam Preston with the rebound. They work it around, Landon Reed drives inside, layup. No, Stein the rebound. Reed a little slow to get up, as able to track the play back down. Stein's pass tipped by Anderson, able to get it back. Inside Koenig, stripped and stolen away. Hennings guard up ahead to Reed, and he's fouled. As they'll get Tate Zerfus on the foul, that'll be his third. Team's a fourth. As Limke and Anderson will check out. Oscar Benson, Micah Gallagher back in for the Burrows. Benson from the free throw line gets it to go. Stein, cross half court. To get to Koenig, and it's stolen away by Reed. Up ahead, Gallagher has his pass stolen away by Owen Zerfus. Zerfus on the run, Tate Zerfus off the glass and in. Reed inbounds, Benson right back to Reed. Cross the timeline. Gallagher, left wing. Preston, free throw line, back out to Benson, gets a screen. From the free throw line, no. And the rebound taken by Koenig. Owen Zerfus, Stein. Tate Zerfus, top of the key. He'll drive inside. Osmo, mid-range jumper, yes. Go Osmo with the basket. Final 15 seconds, shot clock turned off. Heading guard across the timeline. Screen by Preston. Final five seconds, Micah Gallagher. Inside Benson, jumper, no. Stein the rebound. And that will do it for quarter number three. Golden Harvest Tim Kazette Seed Sales Scoreboard. Hillsborough Center Valley 63. Finley Sharon Hope Page 28 on yourliveevent.com. Hillsboro Dairy, with delivery of fresh dairy products and more to your home door. I've had Hillsboro Dairy delivering cold, fresh dairy products and other items to my door for years. Three main reasons why. It's the convenience, the products are fresh, and the delivery service from the Utter Guy. Nobody does it like the Utter Guy. Every week, we get the CTEK. Please call him at 701-436-5877. Delivery right to your door from Hillsboro Dairy. At Halstead Living Center and Heritage House, life doesn't stop with age. From dedicated staff, activities, and personal care, they're there to ensure the lifestyle continues to be active and fulfilled. The activities team brings together birthday parties, holiday programs, local performing acts, and talented musicians on staff. Family and friends are encouraged to join in on the special programs and daily activities, too. For more information on Halstead Living Center and Heritage House, call 218-456-2105 or log on to halsteadlivingcenter.com. Barn basketball to begin quarter number four. Owen Zerfus, the screen from Koenig. Pick and roll inside Koenig, no. And Oscar Benson, the rebound. Picks up his dribble. Gannon Lemke, and he traveled. Rose go Gannon Lemke, Ezra Longthorn, Sam Preston, Oscar Benson, and Micah Gallagher to begin the quarter. For Finley Sharon Hope Page, three Owen Zer Zerfus. Four Dalton Stein. Ten Tate Zerfus. 21 uh, Joel Osmo. 23 Landing Koenig. Starting five on the floor for Finley Sharon Hope Page as uh, Tate Zerfus gets a little runner to go. He's now got double digits. Oscar Benson, layup is good. Benson as well now with his 10th. Point. Owen Zerfus drives inside, layup no. Rebound tipped around, Tate Zerfus gets it. Inside Osmo, blocked by Limke. Back out, they work it around. 
Kincaid Zerfus. Stein, handoff, Owen Zerfus. From the free throw line, he'll put it up, no. And the rebound taken by Sam Preston. Micah Gallagher, inside Benson, gets it to go. Benson with a dozen, and we'll get a timeout called by Finley Sharon. Hope Page will take a timeout as well. Golden Harvest Dimkas at Seed Sales Scoreboard. Hillsborough Central Valley lead 60 to 30. Hillsborough Lumber now has roof rakes. With the heavy snowfall, removing snow from your roofs should be considered. You can now remove snow from your roofs with snow rakes from Hillsborough Lumber. They have a selection including the Avalanche Roof Rake. Stop at Hillsborough Lumber to purchase your snow roof rakes today. Also, as you're thinking of remodeling plans and other projects, visit Hillsborough Lumber for cabinets, doors, flooring, and more. Hillsborough Lumber will provide the materials. With their services comes free delivery and free estimates. No projects are too small or too big for you to be helped at Hillsborough lumber it's time to get rid of those old energy wasting appliances for new efficient appliances from Olson Hardware and Appliances in Hillsboro. Top brand names like LG, Whirlpool, and GE. Stoves, dishwashers, refrigerators, freezers, washers, and dryers. Olson Hardware also services old ones too. Plus they have all the other hardware one would need for updating plumbing or other tasks around the house or yard. It's all at Olson Hardware and Appliance in Hillsboro. 636-4151. That's 636-4151 for Olson Hardware and Appliance. Spartan basketball as Owen Zerfus on the drive. Back out to Koenig. Owen Zerfus. Long in the three-point arc. Stein. Keeps it. Also Parker Gallagher checking in as well for the Burrows. And Jackson Anderson out of the timeout. Stripped and stolen away by Gannon Limke. On the drive, looking to go coast to coast. Gets the basket and the foul. As they'll get Koenig on the foul, that'll be his second, team's fifth. As Gannon Lemke go to the free throw line. Free throw attempt up and good. Gannon Lemke with the three point play. And fourth quarter running clock in effect as well. Sign. Inside Koenig, layup, gets it to go. Inbounds, Jackson Anderson on the back over to Micah Gallagher for three. Yes. Micah Gallagher with the triple. Stein in the corner. Owen Zerfus. Koenig. Stein for three. However, we'll have a foul before the shot. I believe is the call. Or officials will talk it over. Yeah, they're trying to determine exactly when the foul occurred. So the basket is good. And then the uh, foul. So Finley, Sharon, Hope Page will inbound it. Stein from the free throw line. No, gets his own rebound, and he's fouled. As they'll get Jackson Anderson on the foul. His first team's, team's seventh. So Stein at the free throw line for the one and one. First attempt is up and good. As Ezra Longthorne back in. Second free throw attempt, no good. Rebound tracked down by Owen Zerfus. He'll put it up, no, and Jackson Anderson the rebound. Inside Longthorn, back out, Gallagher for three, no, and out of bounds. Finley Sharon Hope Page basketball. 
You could see from that angle that Gallagher was floating the left and tried to overcompensate. Ended up missing the, you know, shooting the air ball all the way to the right side of the basket. Stein. Owen Zerfus, top of the key. Inside Tate Zerfus. And he traveled. Turnover number 20 on the Spartans. As Anderson out, 44, Caden Waterworth checking in for the Burroughs. Also on Zerfus will check out 12. Zyler Carlson will check in for Finley, Sharon, Hope, Page. Gallagher, Waterworth inside Limke. Spins, puts it up, no. Limke able to get it back and gets the basket to go. Gannon Limke now with seven. Tate Zerfus. Koenig. Pass strip stolen away. Limke up ahead. Parker Gallagher couldn't get the layup to go. Limke with the rebound and he's fouled. As they'll get Zyler Carlson on the foul. That'll be his third. Team's a sixth. And Limke at the free throw line. First attempt up and good. Second one up coming. So you get a whole host of uh, new Spartans coming on to the floor. Five, Trevor Thompson, 34. Hayden Hauschka. Second free throw attempt up and good as well for Gannon Limke. Also number 20, Bryce Juliuson. As well as number 30, Grant Irie. Stolen away by Limke, layup attempt is good. Limke now with double digits. Thompson. As Julius Sins passes stolen away, Micah Gallagher. Fast break, gets the layup to go. Final 90 seconds. Carlson across the timeline. Juliuson. Carlson. Started by Gallagher. Hauschka puts it up, gets it to go. Hayden Hauschka with the basket. Parker Gallagher. Longthorne and will get a timeout called by Hillsborough Central Valley. As they'll just want to get a sub in as uh, 50 Dylan By will check in for the Burrows. Inbounds, Parker Gallagher. Limke, Longthorne, under a minute now. Inside, Dylan By gets the basket to go. Carlson, Juliuson to Hauschka, back to Carlson, top of the key. Irie, they work it around, Carlson. Trevor Thompson. Bryce Juliuson, Hayden Hauschka at the free throw line, five to shoot. Juliuson at the free throw line. Hauschka has to put up a three, no. And the rebound is taken by Gannon Limke. Final 10 seconds. As looks like it'll just be content to dribble it out. As that will be your final on the Golden Harvest Tim Kazette Seed Sales Scoreboard. Hillsborough Central ending their regular season in style. As they're now able to secure the number two seed in the Region 2 tournament coming up here in about a uh, week and a half. As your final on the Golden Harvest Tim Kazette Seed Sales Scoreboard. Hillsborough Central Valley 83. Finley Sharon Hope Page 38.
Hi, this is Julie Cameron from Central Valley High School. Work hard at everything you do in life, schoolwork, sports, extracurriculars, and anything else you may be involved in. A good work ethic will help you be successful and will stick with you in the future. It also helps to be a good role model to younger students and athletes that look up to you. This message is brought to you by the Central Valley School District. Dakota Heritage Bank is a bank on the go and on the grow. We now have nine locations in Hunter, Hope, Galesburg, Hillsboro, Grandin, Gackle, Streeter, Judd, and Harvey. More locations and more services. Dakota Heritage Bank offers mobile banking and online banking with bill pay so you can bank anytime, anywhere. Stop in and visit Dakota Heritage Bank today. Sharing our heritage, sharing our future dhbanknd.com member FDIC equal housing lender American Crystal Sugar Company with their 4,000 plus employees and shareholders are deeply rooted in the communities of the Red River Valley they're committed to the sustainability and growth of their business and to improving lives in the places where we work and live by investing in people our communities, and the future of American Crystal Sugar. Visit crystalsugar.com to learn more about scholarships, grants, volunteerism, donations, and more through the Community Roots American Crystal Giving Program. Growing strong community roots. American Crystal Sugar Company. I'm originally from Mayville. I moved away for six years, but when I decided I think it's time that we start a family, and I said, I want to move back to that small town so I can have small classes, small community. People are involved, people care about you. Well, there's a lot of space out here, and if you use it appropriately, I mean, everything from family baseball to the parks and the communities, swimming, all that stuff is available right there. Hi, I'm Jeremy Strand. Kurt Petrowski, Hillsboro, North Dakota. Come home to trail. Come home to trail. Storm Oil Company, Highway 81 in Hillsboro. For when you need repair work done on your vehicle, need an oil change, need new tires or tire repair, visit Sorum Oil Company in Hillsboro. They fill LP tanks, bulk delivery of your home heating or farm fuels, and carry batteries. Call your locally owned full service gas station, Sorum Oil Company in Hillsboro, 701-636-5356. Brad, Jody, and Blake Sorum, thank you for your business, and they look forward to continue serving you at Sorum Oil Company, Highway 81 in Hillsboro. Hillsboro Central Valley picks up the victory here tonight. A final 83-38. Burroughs victorious in the regular season finale. As uh, Finley Sharon Opage actually scored the opening basket of the game to take a 2-0 lead. From there, Hillsboro Central Valley scored the final 24 points of quarter number one to go into... Uh, take a 24-2 lead after one quarter of play. As was Central Valley able to outscore the Spartans 23-16 in quarter number two to take a 47-18 lead into halftime. In quarter number three, 16-10. Burrow scoring advantage at the uh, end of three quarters. The score was 63 to 28 in favor of the Burrows. In quarter number four, Burrows able to double up the Spartans in scoring 20 to 10. Bring us to what our final score of 83 to 38. Hillsborough Center Valley with the win. The Burrows lock up the number two spot in the region tournament. Finley Sharon Hope Page at the bottom of region two in a 13th place. So they will go up against the number four seed over that Shake Salad. We'll know that a little bit later by the end of tonight when all other region aims are uh, finalized as well. Again, Tuesday, we'll have a couple of uh, Region 2 play in games coming your way on yourliveevent.com. Should have those finalized by uh, Saturday afternoon, if not Saturday night, at the very latest here as well to uh, bring those to you once the region pairings uh, come out tomorrow. Again, Hillsborough Central Valley, an 83-38 victory here tonight. We'll take another quick pause here, then we'll name some awards. That's coming up next on yourliveevent.com. 
Hi, this is Reagan Baszler from Hillsborough High School. Work hard at everything you do in life, school, work, sports, extracurriculars, and anything else you may be involved in. A good work ethic will help you be successful and will stick to you in the future. It also helps you to be a good role model to the younger students and athletes that look up to you. This message is brought to you by the Hillsborough School District. Hi, I'm Ernie Struby, president of the Goose River Bank. We are the oldest state bank in North Dakota. Our past is important, but only if we continue to learn from it. We have learned in over 130 years of serving the Red River Valley that we need to listen to your needs, that we need to provide you with the proper financial tools. Most importantly, we know that you have the option to bank anywhere, and many of you have chosen to bank with us. We take this responsibility seriously, and it has been an honor to be your bank. At the Goose River Bank, we believe that a strong bank builds strong communities. The Goose River Bank, member FDIC. The Hillsboro Central Valley Booster Club is made up of parents and fans who work together to build team and community spirit. They believe it takes parents as well as community support and commitment for team success both on and off the field or court. You can be a member of the Hillsboro Central Valley Booster Club. Contact Carissa Olson or Dave Knutsvig for more information. There's a lot to love about Hillsboro, North Dakota. Top-notch school district with fantastic facilities and growing enrollment great health care, and friendly people. Nestled between two of North Dakota's largest cities, Hillsboro embodies a small-town atmosphere that is sure to make you feel right at home. The HEDC and City of Hillsboro invites you to pay a visit and experience Hillsboro. Visit hillsboro-nd.com to learn more about Hillsboro, a small town with big opportunity. Insurance, Terry Reed and Julie Larson serving you with homeowners, farm, auto, multi peril prop hail, your insurance source. Reed Insurance, located in the Wright Implement Building in Hillsboro. Call 701-636-5471. Visit with Terry Reed and Julie Larson for the coverage you need. Professional, knowledgeable experience. Reed Insurance. Back here on yourliveevent.com, we'll name our RDK Enterprises Precision Players of the Game. Name one for each team, and for the Finley Sharon Hope Page Spartans, we'll give that to number 10, Tate Zerfus, leading the Spartans in scoring. He had 10 points tonight, also added in four rebounds as well. And for Hillsborough Central, we'll give that to uh, number five, Gannon Limke, 11 points for him, also added in three rebounds as well. Coming in here, are leading the uh, second line of Burroughs throughout the game. So, uh, Tate Zerfus and Gannon Limke are your RDK Enterprises Precision Players of the Game, brought to you by RDK Enterprises in Hillsborough. Visit them online at planterdoc.com. Take another quick pause here. We'll have our Holstead Telephone Company post-game connection. That's coming up next on YourLiveEvent.com. Hi, this is Isaac Goodley, a student athlete at Hillsborough High School. I urge everyone to show good sportsmanship both on and off the field or court. Show respect for the other players, coaches, referees, and fans too. By doing so, it shows class and respect for the game. Thank you, and once again, I encourage us to all show good sportsmanship. This message is brought to you by the Hillsborough School District. Hi, I'm Ernie Struby, president of the Goose River Bank, and I would like to know your story. Our lives and our businesses are comprised of events. We have all had our failures and successes, and these events define our character. If your character includes values like trustworthy, respectful, honest, and responsible, then your story matches well with ours, and we would consider it a privilege to be your financial partner. At the Goose River Bank, we believe that a strong bank builds strong communities. The Goose River Bank, member FDIC. This is Chris from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting dealer. Many factors impact your ability to increase profits on the farm. Make sure your planter is an asset and not a liability. Some limiting factors in making the perfect planter pass are roll maintenance, meter calibration, and downforce management. It will not cost you anything to have the conversation about identifying those limiting factors. Call RDK Enterprises 701-636-2119 or planterdoc.com. Time now for Allstead Telephone Company post-game connection. As for Hillsborough Central Valley, connecting 
on the uh, mid-range two, then the three-pointers, long-range shots as Carson Hennings got connected on five three-pointers. Patrick Lemke added in a three-pointer, so did Micah Gallagher, as well as Landon Reed as well. Oscar Benson, a number of shots from that mid-range right around the free throw line and in and around that area as well. So Hillsborough Central Valley connecting from the mid-range to long range. That is your Halstead Telephone Company post-game connection. Brought to you by Halstead Telephone Company. They're keeping you connected. You can visit them online, halsteadtel.com. Take another quick break here, then we'll wrap it up from the uh, Finley Sharon Public School Gymnasium here on yourliveevent.com. Trail District Health Unit warns that flu numbers are increasing across the state and to take all necessary precautions to keep you and your family healthy this winter. Get a flu shot. Always remember to wash your hands and exercise are all great ways to reduce the chances of you and those around you from getting sick. You don't want your student or athlete to miss school or activities because of the flu. This message is brought to you by Trail District Health Unit. For more information, give them a call at 701-636-4434. Wishing you a healthy season are Brenda, Kelly, and Chris at Trail District Health Unit. the telephone knows we all like choices. You can choose to have communication and data services up to one gigabit over a reliable state-of-the-art fiber optic network. And you can choose to have the same great services available town or country with local service and support. You can choose to have an individual service or bundle. You can choose to avoid tricky promotional pricing. You can choose unlimited data. The choice seems clear. Choose Halsta Telephone Broadband Voice TV. 1-800-457-2125 My name is Chase Fossum from Hillsborough High School. Drugs and alcohol not only affect your life, but everyone around as well. That is why I choose not to engage in drugs and alcohol. It results in poor decision making and even death. Don't let friends, family, and teammates down. Be safe and stay sober. Thank you. This message brought to you by the Hillsborough High School District. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 43,000 participants here in North Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Time now to run down our final stats here for both teams. We'll start with the Spartans of Finley, Sharon, Hope, Page. As Keith pops his head around the camera, showing the world the, the wonderful Minnesota Wild jersey that he's got on. As uh, first, the uh, Spartans, 38 total points for Finley, Sharon, Hope, Page, led by number 10, Tate Zerfus, who had 10 points. Owen Zerfus had 8 Also, nine points for Landon Koenig. Six points for Joel Osmo. Two points apiece for Ryan Tweet and Hayden Hauschka. And one point for Dalton Stein. Team total-wise, they committed a total of 23 team turnovers. Had a total of 18 team rebounds. They committed 13 team fouls. And from the free throw line, Finley Sharon Page shot eight of 12. Those are your final stats for the Spartans. Time now for our final stats for Hillsborough Central Valley. 83 points for the Burroughs tonight, led in scoring by number three, Carson Henningsgaard. He had 21. Patrick Limke with 15. Oscar Benson had 12. Gannon Limke added in 11. Nine points for Landon Reed. Five points for Micah Gallagher. 
And two points apiece for Ezra Longthorne and Dylan By. Team total wise, the Bros committed a total of 11 turnovers. They had 32 team rebounds, committed 12 team fouls. And from the free throw line, the Burroughs shot 8 for 11. As those are your final stats on yourliveevent.com. Let's take another quick break here, and then we'll wrap it up from Finley coming up next on Your Live Event. Find feel good savings at your locally owned Health Mart Drugstore, Hillsboro Drug and Give. Health Mart CoQ10 Dietary Supplement 30 Count Soft Gels is just $6.99. You can get your choice of Health Mart flaxseed oil or fish oil, just $9.49 each. 120 Count Health Mart Low Dose Aspirin 81 MG, $4.99. Or 36 Count Health Mart Adult Low Dose Chewable Aspirin, just $1.99. Keep up with the cold and flu season by making a stop at Hillsboro Drug and Gift, your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart caring for you and about you. This is Carson Henningsgaard, student athlete at, at Central Valley High School, and I urge students to refrain from using drugs or alcohol. Doing so can result in getting kicked off the team, damage to your reputation, and damage to your body. Stay sober and stay on the right track to success. Live above the influence. This message brought to you by the Central Valley School District. Don't forget to subscribe to your live event by clicking on the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner on YouTube and click the notification bell so you'll be notified about every new video. Thanks for watching and listening to YourLiveEvent.com, powered by Halsta Telephone Company and RJ Broadcasting Incorporated. For more high school sports and information, visit RJBroadcasting.com sports sports and schedules page. People depend on a healthy food supply always being there. We take great pride in what we've built here and we want to pass that on. Running a family farm isn't easy. We can't control the weather, ever-changing farm policies and up and down farm prices, but we manage to keep going to provide the safest food supply we can. To be a farmer, you have to be committed. And it isn't so much a choice as it is a calling. Farmers Union Insurance, protecting those that protect America's food source. Yeah, and Hillsborough Central Valley picks up the 83-38 victory as they will lock up the two seed in the Region 2 tournament. And we will have all those games coming for you on yourliveevent.com in the upcoming weeks. We'll also have two games as well on Tuesday. Once we decide the, uh, once we find out what the region pairings are, we will uh, let you know which games will we be covering. Follow us on our social media pages at yourliveevent1 or rjbroadcasting.com, sports scores and schedule pages, as then we will be able to uh, let you know uh, what games we will be covering in the region play-in games. Take another brief pause here, then we'll be joined by the head coach for Hillsborough Central Valley, Elliot Rothfold. Rural life isn't for everyone, but those who know it and love it wouldn't have it any other way. As a farmer-owned cooperative, Ag Country Farm Credit Services supports rural communities in agriculture with reliable, consistent credit financial services, which helps farmers produce more affordable food and encourages long-term investments in rural communities. Ag Country Farm Credit Services, proud to support the communities where we live and work. Grew up in Hatton. We lived in Grand Forks and Fargo both before settling down here. I'm originally from Hillsboro, grew up here. Originally from Laramore. We lived in Bismarck for 10 years, but something was drawing me back here. For a small town, I think we have a lot to offer. Hillsboro Trail County is a great place to grow a business. It's a small community that's like a family. If you need help, um, the small community pulls together. Come home to trail. Come home to trail. Come home to trail. Talking here with head coach for Hillsborough Central Valley, Elliot Rothfold, after the 83-38 victory for Hillsborough Central Valley against Finley Sharon Hope Page. And Elliot, first, uh, just kind of get your uh, thoughts on the game. You uh, big first quarter there, provide you a lead, and then able to uh, kind of just keep it coming there for the final three quarters as well. Yeah, I was happy with the effort the guys came with. Uh, we got off to a little bit of a slow start there, but for the most part, you know, the guys played hard, got after it, and that's what we talk about doing the things that we need to do. Um, last game before the region tournament, you got to come out with that intensity. You want to, you want to play because we got another ten days off here before we play. So 
in the tournament. So you you want to use this to your advantage and, and get guys uh, going, get that confidence level going. And I thought we did a nice job of that tonight. Yeah, as we uh, talk about here, just kind of, you know, talk about quickly summarize, you know, your uh, your uh, regular season here so far. I had the, uh, you know, big stretch there early on. Then uh, middle of it, you know, kind of lost some games, but it really kind of stepped it up here towards the uh, end part of the regular season. Yeah, I thought early in the year, you know, we came out with lots of, Lots of, you know, confidence and getting after it and getting up and down the court. And we and then we, we kind of had a little lull in the middle of the season there. And sometimes that happens. Uh, you know, we got a lot of guys that um, played a lot of a lot of basketball. But, they, you know, they play, most of them played football in the fall, didn't get much of a break. And we kind of, you know, it was one of those things where I don't think they were enjoying the, the grind of practicing games there in the middle of the season. And, you know, we didn't have much of a break with the games, game that we had over Christmas break. And, and uh, we just... We just, like I said, just kind of got in a little bit of lull and kind of lost our confidence there in the middle of the season and, and lost to some good teams. But, uh, you know, we felt like we weren't playing our best basketball. And then, uh, you know, after the Ada Borup game and kind of get our getting our stuff handed to us in that game, we, we um, you know, kind of one of those come-to-Jesus moments where you kind of tell the guys, hey, you've got a lot of seniors on this team. they got to show us some leadership. And they did, and they stepped up and talked to the team and figured out what they had to do and what they needed to do to – move forward and get back to that team that has the confidence and enjoys to play the bas the game of basketball. And uh, I think they found that here the last three weeks, and we've been playing some of our best basketball of the year, I feel, here in these last three weeks. And hopefully we can carry that over into the tournaments. And that's just it. Like you said, you know, you you want to be able to be playing your basketball best basketball at this point of the season as you head into tournament time. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, better to have a lull in the middle of the season where you're not playing your best and um, than at the end of the year. So these guys have had a lot of experience. They play a lot of basketball games, and, and uh, you know, we got good leadership. I thought, you know, Carson has uh, really turned it up these last three or four weeks, and then we've gotten great contributions from, from Landon and, and Patrick and, and Oscar. And, you know, we switched, like I said uh, early, we switched uh, Joey and Sam around, not because Sam was playing poorly. We just wanted to bring that energy off the bench with Sam like he, like he brought last year, and we talked to him about that, and I think he's been doing a great job with that coming off the bench. And, and we get a lot of contributions from a lot of guys, and, and that's part of it. You know, you bring Sam and Jackson in off the bench, and, and uh, they bring a lot of energy for us. And then and then we got other guys like Gannon and Micah and Ezra that can come in if, if we need them, and, and that's what you need. You need a team to buy in, and I think the guys have done that. Talk about it as well with that, uh, able to, uh, you know, get the uh, the first round by, not have to get into the uh, region play and game automatically going into the quarterfinals at the Betty. Just talk about how uh, important that is not to – have to get into that playing game already have your uh you know your seed locked in yeah you know we knew after those couple games and, and the, those couple losses is gonna be tough to tough to get the number one seed unless we got some help so we just talked about you know taking care of our own business and if you did that you'd probably be you'd probably get a buy in that first round we took care of business after after losing to cavalier in the region and took care of the rest of the region games and that's what you got to do and then you know once you get in there, uh, you know whoever can put three games together is gonna gonna you know find themselves really happy on on uh, Thursday night here in a couple of weeks. So uh, and we feel like we're playing playing our A game, uh, bringing it on both ends of the court that we have uh, just as good a chance as anybody. Um, and uh, you know that's all you got to do is put those three games together, and and uh, you know there are gonna be some good basketball games, some good teams that are gonna be in our way, but uh, you know the, these guys are ready for it, and I can see it in their eyes that they're ready for the tournaments. Talk about that with the uh, region tournament coming up. You know, a, a lot of parity in this region. Really, like you said, there are about f four or five teams that can put together those three games and could walk out as region two champions. Yeah, you're exactly right, and that's that's how it's been for a long time in region two. It, you always gotta gotta you know play play your best basketball down the stretch, and and a lot of teams have a chance to get there. So for us, you know, like I said, we'll have a good week of practice here this week. We'll go watch uh, watch a playing game on Tuesday where we're gonna match up with practice the rest of the week and uh, just you know, try to keep that focus and that intensity up and, and we don't have to practice long, but, uh, you know, work on some of those situations you might see in the region tournament and keep guys' confidence up and keep everybody healthy this week. And, uh, you know, then, then like I said, you got three games, no matter who you play, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta win three and it starts with that first one on Monday. Um, and then you, hopefully you're moving forward from there. All right, Elliot. Well, we appreciate your time. Congratulations on the victory tonight. We look forward to a Fun along here as we get ready for the uh, region tournament coming up in about a week and a half. All right, thanks for everything that you guys have done, and uh, you know it's been a fun regular season, and hopefully we can get a lot of fans out to the out to the Betty to ride, watch these guys. We got seven seniors that have put in a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, last last go around for them, and and uh, they've played they've played some great basketball 
in their four years of, uh, of high school basketball. So fans get out there, watch this team, and and support them, and hopefully we can we can uh, you know get ourselves a region championship. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but uh, the the support will definitely help. Ellie Ralph will join us following Hillsborough Center Valley's 83 to 38 victory against Finley Sharon Hope Page. All right, perfect. Thank you. So I'll do it for us here on yourliveevent.com. Again, Hillsborough Center Valley picks up the 83 to 38 victory for Keith Meyer. I'm Brady Seawell saying thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your night, evening, day, whatever it may be when tuning in to this video on yourliveevent.com.